Hey, good day, folks. It's me back again with another video. So today I want to show you this uh, 30 centimeter stove Dutch oven, or they call this the La Cocotte. Uh, now I picked this up in almost brand new condition. It's basically 95% new for 150 euros. So if you are keen to pick it up, you can have it for the same price of 150 euros. So they call this the La Cocotte, which translates into a casserole or a stew pan. And the first thing I got to say is that this is an impressive looking cooking vessel. Um, it's, well, previously I did a video on a stove low brazier, uh, the low brazier, which I, I didn't really like too much. I wasn't that king on it. Um, but this is actually a different story because this is really a very nice looking vessel. It's very solid. Uh, it's got a very nice color um this um what do you call this white grayish texture color on the um exterior which looks very nice and um i i can really recommend this piece right and especially with this one being a 30 centimeter so it's very large it's very practical uh, so let's go into a bit more detail so now in terms of the product range uh well this is basically stopes equivalent to the Le Creuset, which I will bring into the picture in a sec, just for comparison purposes. Uh, so this fits into the fray. And um, so yeah, this is basically the equivalent. And for this particular 30 centimeter size, the the price, well, it's, it, it's quite, it varies quite a bit actually. Uh, I found it anywhere between 240 to 330 euros. So 330 is their official retail price, uh, which I would never recommend you pay because you, I'm sure you can find it much cheaper if you, um, if you look hard enough. So typically it's around 240 to 250 euros seems to be the average price that I was able to find while well, here in the Netherlands anyway. And these come in a variety of sizes, even numbers. Uh, so this is 30, um, as mentioned. But um, the biggest I've seen is 34, and the smallest I've seen is, uh, I can't really remember, but, you know, because this is a Dutch oven, you know, this is supposed to be able to make um, food, stews, and big batches. So I really wouldn't recommend anything less than 26 uh, centimeters. Then you're kind of defeating the purpose of getting a Dutch oven. So now, as usual, let's go through the specifications and the construction. So the volume is 8.3 liters, so that's pretty big. Okay, so 8.3 liters in volume. Uh, the weight of the lid is 2.6, so it's very heavy and very large lid. And the weight of the pan, so the pan itself without the lid is 5.3 kilograms, so which makes a total of eight kilograms. Now the diameter, let's see if this is really 30. Uh, it's about 31 and a half from the outer edge to the outer edge. And including the handles, it's about 38 and a half uh, centimeters. Uh, so with this model, this 30 centimeter model, so the flat cooking area, flat cooking diameter is approximately 25, uh, yeah, 25 and a half centimeters to be a bit generous. And the very bottom um, that's in contact with your hob, let's have a look. It's also 25 and a half centimeters. So let's just quickly check the height of this vessel. So let's, let's include the lid. So that is about 21 and a half centimeters. And um, so that's for the specifications. So I just want to do a quick comparison with the liquor say. Now the one thing that I don't like about the stove is, um, well I pretty much like everything else about it, but the one thing that I don't like about basically across the whole stove range is the black interior. And, and I just find that with the black interior it makes it a little bit harder to see, you know, the browning on your food um, when you're using this to sear, sear meat for for example. So I'm going to put the liquor say in the picture now. Let's put it over here. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, there we go. So if we compare the stove to the liquor say, I just want to do a bit of a detailed comparison. Um, well, obviously the stove has a black interior and the liquor say has a milky uh, or creamy white interior. And for me, I find the white interior to be better. Uh, in terms of seeing the progress of your food. 
Uh, now, sorry, I forgot to mention that this Licorice A is a 28 centimeter model, so you know it's a it, it's a bit of a pity I'm not able to do a very direct comparison. But um, other than the size, we can compare everything else about the vessel. Depends. Uh, now the external design. Um, if I put the lid back on now, just for the purpose of the exterior. Now, based on the exterior, I actually prefer the stove a little bit more because it's got a more uh, it's got a more straight, boxy style design compared to the Le Creuset, where the Le Creuset, everything is just a little bit curved. Um, especially if I put it like this, maybe you can see it better. Um, the taper on the Le Creuset down the side is a little bit more than the than the stove. Uh, the colors. Uh, now, the well, this is personal preference, obviously. The, with the colors, uh, Licorice has a very wide, vibrant, vi vibrant range of colors. Um, you know, very bright, colorful, vibrant. Uh, whereas the color choices on the stove, it's not as uh, wide as the Licorice, and also the color choices on the stove or the colors on the stove, uh, they tend to be a little bit toned down or a little bit sensible. Let's let's put it uh, that way. Uh, the handles, uh, well. It's a little bit more comfortable on the Licorice, I would say. Um, the handles on the stove is, feels a little bit sharper, a little bit more constricted. So I don't have very big hands, but if you've got very big hands, this may feel a bit tight. And uh, if I put it close like this, you can see the design on the handle is a little bit um, well narrower and sharper than that of the Licorice. So with the Licorice, it's it's more rounded, um, it's more loopy. So this is for me is definitely a more definitely more comfortable to hold, and that also applies to the knob on the lid. So if we look at the knob on the stove, it's also quite uh, quite it's smaller and it's quite sh it's sharper. And if we look at the Licorice, it's got a well, it's got a more uh, round curvy. A hand knob, so this is also more comfortable to pick up than for me anyway than the stove. And what else have we got here? Um, so we covered the knob on the handle, we covered the interior. But in terms of the actual cooking, um, they're basically going to cook exactly the same. So I really, uh, I'm, I'm really not able to see any difference in terms of the actual cooking. So basically, it comes down to whether you choose the licorice or you choose the stove. It's going to come down to mostly personal preferences. Um, for me, uh, I would choose the Licorice, but not by a wide margin. And the and the biggest reason for that is once again the white, the white interior of the Licorice. It just makes it a bit easier for me to to see how my food is going in the pan compared to the stove. Um, so overall, in summary, look, um, you know this is going to be quite a quite a quick video I think. This stove is a great vessel. Um you know this cocotte la cocotte it's a very solid built look pan. It's a very solid looking pan and um and if you if you don't mind the black interior interior or if you just prefer the black interior uh, I think you're gonna be very happy with your choice. So overall it's a great piece and uh I think there's nothing much more to be said about it. So I hope you found this little uh look at the so helpful the little comparison and i will see you in the next video